Okay, so true story. I'm gonna tell a little, uh, a little story. So imagine it's the late 1800s and young Lord Guinness has decided to infuse his business, which is, well, beer, right? With modern scientific technologies. So he hires a leading chemist from Oxford, one William Seeley Gossett. Now Gossett got to work measuring the densities of yeast cells in vats of beer because too much yeast in beer makes it very bitter. And well, not enough yeast in beer. Mm, not good, right? Not alcoholic enough. So how do you measure all of the yeast in a vat? This was a question that puzzled William Seeley Gossett. Um, but, you know, you take a sample and you try to measure the yeast concentrations and you try to extrapolate it up to the whole vat. Well, he was able to model yeast and he wanted to publish his findings because this was really important work. But Guinness, mm, Lord Guinness, had a very strict company policy prohibiting anyone from publishing anything that came out of the business. And was, this was to protect his secret recipes from comp competitors. So William Seeley Gossett secretly published his results under the alias Student. Over the next 30 years, this person named Student wrote many influential papers. He did most of his work at his kitchen table doing calculations by hand. And in fact, he did many calculations similar to the ones we just did in resampling stats. His most famous contribution was the student's T distribution and the T test. So this is why it's called the student's T test. Um, in the student's T test, he anticipated modern resampling, or they're also called Monte Carlo approaches, and um, what I just showed you in resampling stats. So he basically took values and he put them in a hat and he pulled them out randomly and shuffled them and recalculated means and recalculated um, the differences between the means thousands and thousands of times. So he did all of this without a computer, uh, without even a calculator. This was prior to calculators. Um, and so basically he, he anticipated what we were able to do in just 19 seconds, probably took him about three years of sitting at his kitchen table calculating means and differences. So what I'm gonna show you next is how to do um, this, a, sim a similar kind of analysis to compare two means using students' T distribution, which is a distribution of values of T that he calculated while sitting at his kitchen table. And we can calculate a value of T for our data and compare our data to that distribution of T values, just like we compared our data, the real data, to a distribution of random values generated from our own data set. So t-tests use what's called a, they're a parametric approach. They, they compare your value, your statistic value to a distribution of those statistics that were generated basically randomly. Okay, so that's how parametric statistics works. And it's all based on uh, William Seeley Gossett's work that he published under the pseudonym Student because he was working for Guinness Brewing at the time.